When I was younger, I always wanted to play it. I would always ask my, my PE teachers, you know, let's play American football. They were like, oh, it's too many rules. I'm British, we're, we're both English. You know, we don't play that over here. Yeah, you, you look confused. And I always get that confused look when I talk to people. They're like, where are you from? <laughs> and you play football? I was 18 and I just, I just Googled it and I was like, American football in England. You know, and then that's pretty much how it started. Effie, what are you going to get? Wings. Wings? Wings. You love wings, don't you? I love wings. You love wings. <laughs> I love the sport. <laughs> I love it. It's, just, it's just an amazing sport. It's, it's something that's changed my life. And uh, I just want to be a part of it. Fact. Brady Jarrett. That's the dream, bro. Super Bowl sack. Super Bowl sack. They are strangers in a strange land, daring to dream a dream not familiar to their friends and family. It's almost silly to consider the task ahead. In America, over 100,000 kids play high school football in a given year. Of that group, around 9,000 will play in college. To make the next step, only around 200 get to the NFL. That's just kids in the US. Imagine growing up in Europe. There is a better chance you get struck by lightning than make it to the NFL. That doesn't stop the rare few from trying. Last year, as part of the Undiscovered program, Harry Innes, Anthony Darbley, and Moritz Boringer set their sights on the NFL. Innes went and signed. Darbley made it to camp with the Giants before getting cut. Boringer hit the jackpot. He became the first player ever to be drafted straight from Europe. From Germany, score For this year's European crop, the door is open. Now they have to walk through and they have just 90 days to get ready. Honeys, lift them up. Sure those toes are up. It's 10 hours since the Super Bowl ended. While the football world has its attention focused on the Patriots' stunning comeback, NFL hopefuls wake early in Boca Raton, eager to one day enjoy that Super Bowl stage. Two have come from further than the others. Alex Jenkins and F.A. Obada are a couple of Brits taking on a tall task. I want to make my wife proud. I don't know, I'm proved to myself that I can do it. And you know, I've, I've put in a lot of hours, I've put in a lot of blood, sweat, I've sacrificed a lot. And um, I just want to see it pay off. I want to make it to the NFL, that's the dream. It's the most important thing I've ever done. Every day is a day to get better. And you know, every day is so important. Now you're up tall and you're opening and trying to hold past this speed. So this speed today we wanted to see about 15. This one today I want to see 15, maybe 16. Alex Jenkins joins American college stars hoping to become one of the 200 to make the NFL this year. Got it? Speed and explosiveness are the focus at XB Sports. The 40-yard dash is the measurement all teams look at when comparing prospective players. 13-9. We're going to come back. He's highly athletic and the great size. We just need to get him honestly better than the Americans are going to test. If they're not known by the NFL, um, I don't think you can have an average 40. I think you have to have a great one. Push. Perfect. If I can bring my 40 down to like a really good time, you know, something that's outstanding for someone my size, then I think I'll be in with a shot to impress the scouts. See that shin angle? Yeah. That knee's gonna push you forward, so now, now crawl back. 
think everybody worries a little bit, you know. Everyone wants to test the best they can, you know, they want to show the scouts exactly what they can do. Go. I'm going to be fastest, the strongest, you know, the most agile I've ever been when it comes to being in front of those scouts on my pro day. Alex Jenkins played a year in England before being spotted at a football camp in Virginia. That led to an opportunity at the tiny University of Incarnate Word in San Antonio, where he played for three years. It was a long way from home for a kid that grew up in Bath, striving to be great in a sport most popular in his homeland. Pretty much everybody dreams to be like a premiership football player. That's, that's the... That's the bog standard British kid dream, you know, I wanted to play in the Premiership when I was a kid. Just decided it wasn't for me, my body was getting bigger. Every time someone would, would run into me, I would get the card. So I thought I just need to try something new. It feels like it was yesterday that I was working in the Roman baths. Still pinching myself, but I've still got a long way to go. I've still got a lot more things I need to work on. F.A. Obada had never played football but his impressive measurements attracted the football world. He had played just six games of semi-pro football when the NFL came calling. His physique is NFL ready, but his lack of game experience has hurt him. First year, I worked out for Dallas, and I was in a practice squad with them for the year. The following year, I got released. During the OTAs, I uh, went to Kansas City and you know, I got released by them. And then for the training camp, I was with the Falcons and wasn't able to make the team. It's been an emotional roller coaster. It's been, a, it's been very challenging. It's a testament to the people that are in the league and what it takes to be in the league. I've got size and speed and stuff, but you can't just come off the street and, you know, jump in there and feel like you can do what they do. He is as genetically gifted as any top defense alignment in the NFL. And we've trained great ones, from Shane Ray and Joey Bosa to Osu Minori and Javon Kurse. And he is as athletically gifted as anyone. When you, you know, tell him to catch up in three years with somebody who's been doing it for 15 years, you know, he's going to be a little behind. And the NFL is not going to wait on you, no matter how gifted you are. I'm trying to work on my skills, trying to make sure that this time around, I'm better prepared. You know, this thing takes a toll on the people that, are, that you know, support me. It takes a toll on the, you know, the time apart from my wife and things like that. So I have to think about them as well when I make decisions. This is make or break for me. Love it. We're looking for 2112. Uh, let's just find it first. For an NFL hopeful trying to grow roots in America, life can feel a bit nomadic. I think we're upstairs. Claim my room. I've claimed it. That's why I ran up there. Claim, go claim the room. Which one? I'm one of my trainers is in. Take a look at Effie's room that he claimed. Before hitting the practice field, Brits Effie Obada and Alex Jenkins move into the new place. Yeah, I can see why he claimed this one. He's got a nice walk-in bathroom, walk-in closet. Every man for themselves. <laughs> Survival of the fittest. <laughs> I got the small room, that's OK. It's more cosy. That's all right, I don't need a lot of space. This is it, I'm home for the next three months. They will spend more time on the field <sighs> under the watchful eye of coaches Adam Durdy and Will Bryce. I believe that there's players all over the world and players need an opportunity to be shown. That's what I believe. It's just getting these guys to understand the game. Understanding football and understanding the game is the most important. It allows you to play free. When you can break on his eyes and break on the ball, the more you can make plays. Along with former NFL player O.C. Yulman Yura, Dirty and Bryce are responsible for mining Europe for talent, good, good, good. and they're moulding that talent into an NFL-ready player. Go. Alex Jenkins has some very unique traits. 
He's very, very athletic, very explosive athlete, but very raw in how he moves in his body. That's so where you sink your body weight. And if I'm cutting this way, I'm pigeon toed my foot, so my next step is here. Okay. And what we were saying to you is, you'll step in the bucket, so your left foot there, and then your right foot steps where your left foot was. Oh, okay. So it's a wasted step. When you see him in person, he's a much more uh, impressive athlete than what you see on tape. Say it. I still got a long way to go. I still got a lot more things I need to work on. So again, we're not jumping. Get that foot under you. Drive your feet for a couple of seconds. Stay engaged. That was good though. You struck it with violence, which is nice. Say hit. Say hit. In three months, Jenkins will earn a college degree in computer information systems. But his focus is on one objective only: getting drafted by an NFL team. I've always thought, you know, there's no need to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. I've always thought that. I'm gonna go until my body can't go. So when my body gives up, you know, that's when I think about something else. You know, until then, you know, it's full, full speed ahead. What is new to Jenkins is familiar to Effie Obada. This is his third year training in Boca Raton. He's hoping it's third time lucky. He's a very different player than when we started, when we first were introduced to him. He's still got a long way to go. Work on his flexibility, work on his bend, trying to be loose, try not to be, you know, real tense, become more of a student of the game. I mean, everything that you'd want to be anyway, he just really needs to focus in on that and use the feedback that he's gained from his experiences the last two years to really put him in the best position to compete for a position this year on a team. Yeah, OK. Good, go. No, no. So look. So we're going to be here. I'm going to say, bang. I'm going to be here. And then I'm going to say, react to my, my ball. So if I say, shuffle, if I'm here and I say, shuffle, bang, bang, bang. You know? The game's very fast, and you know, the more you do it, it's just repetition. And I just need more reps, I need more opportunities to show that. You know, I think a lot when I'm on the field, so it slows me down. That's the only thing that I struggle with. That's bad, just a bit too high, okay? As you climb, don't worry about it, okay? Just keep working on it. That's what we're here to do, practice, okay? That's why I slow it down and just think about your body position. If he gets signed, it's a huge opportunity. If he gets an opportunity to learn and see what it's like and learn from his mistakes, learn from what he's an experience, it's all an opportunity, you know? I think, like, he hasn't got a lot of them left. And yeah, if your feet are dead and flat on the floor, it's really hard to just react. Yeah, it's just, it's hard. Okay. I was born in Nigeria, raised in London. I came from a place where, you know, there weren't really uh, anyone to look up to. There weren't no role models. There weren't no, there were no options. I never had any options. And football gave me options. You know, it changed me as a person, changed me as a man. Yeah. Good. Good job. British invasion of South Florida has a new player. Hi. Sorry, how are you doing, Alex? You okay? Cool. We're off. Thank you very much. Alex Gray arrives from England. His NFL journey underway. How was your trip, was, sir? Uh, not too bad, thanks, mate. Ten hours long, so yeah, you know, a bit of a distance, but you know, a couple of good movies kept me going and a little bit of a sleep, so yeah, it wasn't too bad, thanks. Yeah, so what's with this rain, mate? I've been promised sunshine. I come from all the way to Miami and it's bloody raining. It's like back home, this. Back home, Alex Gray was a superstar in a different sport. One look at him dominating on the rugby pitch, and it's easy to see why the NFL undiscovered coaches started dreaming about making him a tight end. I uh, signed my first professional contract at 17 and played in English Premiership for five years. You know, off the back of that and what I kind of showed I was capable of through that, you know, maybe turned a few heads uh, over here and that's what's led to this opportunity. Gray was the captain of England's under 16 and under 18 teams and was headed to the Olympics until an injury derailed him. Now he's attacking a brand new challenge in a sport he's never played. 
Uh, well, I've always been a bit of a fan of the NFL. You know, seeing some European players come over and do pretty well, uh, I just kind of sat there and thinking, you know, why couldn't I give that a go? You need to be tough to play both games, that's a simple fact. Got out here a little bit late, I know there's a couple of guys out here already, but you know, I've been seriously excited about this opportunity. You know, there's been no English rugby player who's done this yet. Um, so to say you're the first person to do something like this, you know, that's, I think that's pretty special. So that's kind of what I'm chasing right now. Hey man, nice to meet you. Alex, how are you doing? You okay? Alex. Oh, as well? Oh, <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Good to meet you. So both the guys you know, are from the UK, but they've been in America for a while now. So they kind of know the lay of the land. So the magic happens, is it? I see you've been greeted with the great British weather. Yeah, I know, I brought it with me. Yeah. Apologies. Hopefully it's going to go It's the first away. time it's rained since I've been here. Really? Yeah. Well, I apologise for that, mate. That's all right. <laughs> it's going to be good for me just to, you know, to get that home feel a little bit as well. Um, and then anything I need to know, I can just bounce that, bounce what I need to know off of them and they can you know, help me out. Oh, well, welcome to your new home. Thank you very much. The heat will be it's like when I, move, when I moved to America in 2013 in college, like the heat was the biggest factor. Right. You know, when most people ask me, what's the biggest difference between, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always say weather. Yeah, right, okay. Because you'd be surprised, you know. Like, I used to play Sunday league, like soccer, like in the freezing cold. Like, yeah. It's a lot different to coming out here and then putting a shoulder pads and helmet on and then. Charging around and all that stuff, yeah, yeah. Jumping on the ground and, you know, running around. That would be a big challenge for you at the start, but. Yeah. It's the only way you can do it really, isn't it? Throw yourself in. Mm -hmm. And you've thrown yourself in at the deep end. So. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about, man. For me, you know, coming to learn from you guys and, and you know, the whole experience and the opportunity, you know, it's, it's just Oh, it's amazing. incredible. Yeah, you yeah. Know, it's once in a lifetime thing. Yeah, you know. exactly. If things go really well over here, um, you know, it could change my life, my family's life completely. I don't know how you feel about this, but, you know, getting a chance to play in the NFL. Yeah. It's Could just a huge thing, isn't it? You know, everyone knows it, whether you're from England, America, mm -hmm. wherever. Mm -hmm. You know the NFL as a league is just huge. I've been waiting for so long for it to come round. You know, I'd had this in the back of my head for, for quite a while, and then within a week, it was right, you're on a plane. You're on a plane on Monday, you're out here. So, kind of went zero to 100 really quick. You want to go see your room or what? Yeah, I took my stuff up in there. Which one is it? Uh, there's two free, so you choose. Just choose. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Is that your one? No, that's my one there. Is this a free one? Yeah, it's a free one, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's been a whirlwind so far. Um, I've enjoyed it. I'm enjoying just getting stuck into it. And you know, onwards and upwards. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I almost broke it. I'll have a good night's sleep tonight in this. I'm looking forward to see what Alex can do. He looks like a lost sheep right now. That was me three weeks ago. Yeah, this is all new to him. All the sights and sounds and terminology and verbiage. He's going to have to get used to it, but. We'll look after him, we'll let him know. He did ask how, how he's going to get his, his picture on the wall. So I guess that's a good start. <laughs> well, he's been a professional for rugby. I don't know, I think he's playing it cool. He's not going to, he's not going to show that he's a bit taken away from it, but yeah. Oscar, just looking forward to getting started. Because you know, once you get started, you kind of forget about everything. You just concentrate on concentrate what, what you want to get done, so just got to get the body ready after the flight now and be ready to go. Especially coming from a different sport and stuff, you know, you don't want to, don't want to be seen to be out your depth or anything like that, so. When did the original injury start? His first day on the new job, he's off to a slow start. Alex Gray is hampered by an Achilles injury. You wound up, that must mean you're real fast, you're tight. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing serious, it's... The problem is, you know, I've, it's been hard, I'm halfway through the rugby season at the minute, um, so I, I assume if you if you took football guys out and checked if you've got any injuries or if you've got anything that's holding you back a little bit halfway through the season, I'm pretty sure 90% of them would say, yeah, my shoulder or my knee or whatever it is. What's happening is, is when you when you go to accelerate off your foot yeah, and press yeah. off of it, that joint should shift a little bit in okay. a good way, yeah. and it's not for whatever right. reason. Just again, you got yeah, some yeah. tight joints and that Achilles kind of overtakes that okay. movement and it just gets overworked. Okay. Whatever the plan is for him for his first day, I think it's just kind of touch and go, see what he can do. Now wider. Out Gray is not there. alone. The rigorous schedule has taken its toll on Alex Jenkins as well. I got a little bit of a groin, groin strain. There's a lot of worse things that could happen, but you know, we're working so hard, it's gonna happen. You know, we're big bodies, three a days, every day. It's a grind, but you've got to respect the grind. 
Everything's looking really good. Still got to get my start right on the 40, but everything looks pretty good. Even Efe Obade is hobbled, limited by a sore shoulder. It's very frustrating, you don't you know. I'm not as explosive, I'm a bit uh, cautious in terms of impact when I go against the bags and just uh, trying to protect myself. QBs. For the new kid in school, the main objective is to get the lay of the land. So sometimes they'll feel like, okay, you need a little extra work yeah. on, on this component, so he's mixing get some wherever. extra reps. So. Lesson one for the new tight end, catching a football. Build it up, just stepping in through the ball rather yeah, than letting yeah. it come to you. Um, tucking it away, yes. high and tight. It's probably a little bit harder to catch because it's not as big, but the kind of the flight of it's a lot better, I guess. It's more more streamlined, so you know it's good. Feels nice. What do they teach you with tucking the ball in rugby? Do they have a preference? No, more That's why when I keep going to do it. Because the balls are rounder, so yeah. I keep going, that's why I keep going to hold it like that. Because obviously you need to like play away. What about? So you know, I can't tell you how many balls I've caught this shape in my life. Millions probably. Uh, so it's definitely helping me. But the actual footballs, probably 500 to 1,000 maybe. No, hold on, hold on. Alex, look at me. Alex, look at me over here. Over here, Alex. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> After a short warm-up, he's thrown oh, right in with the big boys. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Nathan. How are you doing? You okay? It, what was it? Alex. Alex, that's right. Yeah. yeah. We got two Alexes now, yeah. right? Yeah, you're three, yeah, you're yeah. both from England. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's from London. I'm from the north. See. So it's pretty cool. Over in America. Did you play in England? So I was a rugby player. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Trying to extend the arms. Out there, yeah. Yeah, rather than letting their elbows bend. That's it, good. And start to walk through the ball, all yeah. the way through it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is a drop it. So we're coming back to the ball and we're being aggressive to the ball. Yeah. And try not to take your head away. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. You want to throw it like a rugby ball. Ah, off. So, ah. Ah. you've been working out. There's a bit of heat on them. What's that? You've been working out. There's a bit of yeah, bit of heat on them, mate. <laughs> How's that? Yeah, it was good. A bit of heat on it. He's a quarterback, yeah, so. Yeah. Nah, it's good though. I need that. Feel, you can hear the difference. I've got my brothers at home throwing it to me. Um, their arm isn't the best as some of these, as, as good as some of these guys. So uh, there's not as much heat on it. But uh, that's why I'm here. Keep catching these balls every day, so we get better and better. It's good. Awesome. It's, the ball will be coming a lot faster than that. Yeah, yeah. I'll be <laughs> ready though. <laughs> First impressions of Alex Gray was we were really pleased, pleasantly surprised. I think is the word. Um, it was a little bigger than what we thought he'd be. Um, looks a bit more in shape than what we thought he'd be. But our confidence in him is 100%. He's been studying the game. He told me yesterday he's already watched the Super Bowl three or four times already and just studying how those tight ends were playing. For Gray and his fellow Brits, life in America has hit the gas pedal. It's just a bit of a surreal experience, you know? Driving around Florida in an American car on the wrong side of the road. I can't believe I'm here really, you know what I mean? So, pretty crazy. Just you know, overnight my life's completely changed already. You know, where I am, how I'm living, what I'm doing. Um, but it's awesome, you know? It's what I wanted. So, and here I am. On the next episode of Undiscovered, I would play as pay a visit to the NFL Combine. Good. Good out there, man. Before getting the chance for themselves to impress the scouts. Hurry up, hurry up.